telecom major Bharti Airtel reported its third straight quarterly loss as it posted a consolidated loss of over 1,000 crore rupees due to an exceptional item. Both revenues and EBITDA in line with the ET poll, uh, ET Now poll. The most important factor is, of course, the growing ARPUs, uh, which have risen from 128 uh, rupees to 135 rupees. Here's Sunita Nagpal joining in with the earnings fine print. At the ideal's third quarter number seems to be in line with expectation. If we look at the top line, we were expecting a 3.5% growth. They have done 3.8% growth, marginally higher than what we were expecting. As far as EBITDA is concerned, also in line with our expectation. EBITDA margins have come at 42.6% versus 42.3% in the previous quarter. Uh, remember, this is the quarter where uh, tariff hikes, uh, one month of tariff hikes was uh, reflected and that's why their ARPUs have gone up. ARPUs have gone up to 130 uh, versus uh, 128 in the previous quarter. Although this is slightly uh, lower than what Street was expecting, Street was expecting them to clock uh, ARPUs of 139. Uh, but if you look at all other parameters, they have done better than uh, expected. So the thing seems to be uh, getting in favor of uh, telecom companies. Uh, if you see, go by Bharti's third quarter numbers. And if you look at the management commentary, they're saying that they need further tariff hikes going forward to make uh, uh, to make the sector financially viable. So there seems to be that our bills are uh, uh, further going to go up and there will be another high coming very soon. We'll have to wait and watch when that happens. As far as uh, Bharti is concerned, they are very well placed to meet their AGR dues. They've raised money for, via QIP as well as FCB. Uh, so they will, uh, if there is any demand made by uh, government, that they will be able to meet it. As far as quarterly performance is concerned, it's in line with expectation. And uh, next quarter will be reflecting the full impact of the tariff hike. So that will be much better than Q3.